Hello everyone, welcome back again. Now we will create, um, we will do a validation for the users uh, so that this email stays unique and no one can actually add multiple uh, in the same email so that we don't have error from the database. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. This tutorial is going to be really important because we're going to do some uh, advanced validations uh, for the users table because you need to take care about those things so yeah we will do also the editing stuff as well so here you go you have to write unique uh, and then it has to go to the users table right so um, it's like saying okay uh, the uh, email should be unique uh, from users table right so now, if you want to go ahead and want to create a, a new account with the same email, you will get an error. This email has already been taken, okay? So this is uh, given by Laravel. So it's all done now. Now we have we need to do uh, editing. And editing is a little bit complex uh, as well in this um, validation page. So let's go ahead and do the editing, okay? Close this model. And do this edit okay so we have edit tag here let's go ahead and we can say edit user or edit admin whatever you would like to call it and let's take all of them and you see edit data it says so we will keep that as well so instead of data we will take only edit data So it's perfect now. Here you go. Um, one problem is that it's not updating uh, the data here, which is okay. So we need to go to the edit mode, edit data. So show edit data. Here you go. We have this object, and this object. Um, Password, oh no, okay, we don't need the password, it's really irritating, we should not do the password. So let's go ahead and try now. Here you go, we have the password. Now here, uh, this password is something uh, interesting, okay, so what does that mean? We will take the password as well, and this is completely optional, password uh, is optional, so if you will have the password, we will update it and if it does not uh, have the um, uh, if it has any value okay so well, instead of doing this way it's not a good idea to add your password here because uh, user may or may not want to update the password okay so currently it will show as a record field so uh, we will ignore that and we will keep that optional okay so let's go ahead and it says edit tag so edit admin let's call it and edit tag so here you go nope nope here here okay that's cool now and then just take this uh, for loop from here and paste it here that's all we need to do here right now okay so perfect and then we will uh, need to do some record field as well here and then that's okay here from here and we just uh, don't need the password field because it's totally optional that's okay and we should say edit users okay so actually say edit user edit user here you go we can take this code 
Okay, now here is the one thing is that we don't need the password field here. So we don't need to pass the password, but if you do pass, it should say, okay, minimum should be six character long. So yeah, let's go ahead and do something. Okay, there is few things you need to keep in mind, okay? A uh, few cases, okay? Case number one is that uh, this is the email. This is uh, this is my email, okay? So uh, email may change, okay? So user can change the email here, okay? Perfect. Or email will change right so we have two possibilities here email can change or may not change it, it can be same or it can be different right so now if it is different if it is different we have to make sure that the new email is unique perfect again if it's same we have to make sure uh, if email is not changed then we have to make sure that email uh, stays as it is okay so how do we do that okay this is something a really interesting case so here we are uh, we are saying that okay uh, email is definitely a required if you want to go ahead and then it should be type of email okay and it is uh, it should be unique as well okay so if you give an email it should be unique okay now how we do how do we ignore if you if you are using the same email okay so if you are using the same email it is already existing in database right in database uh, this email already exists right so this email already exists so this one will give us an error okay unique user will give us a uh, given error because it, this email is already existing so we have to ignore this one okay so we have to ignore the one we are editing. So currently we are editing Sadek, which is ID1, and it has an email of this one, and we are seeing this is the same email. So we have to ignore which ID is one. So how do we ignore it? So ign we ignore ID and we say, okay, we ignore this way because dot ID, okay? So let's make it this way now, correct? So this is how you are checking the email as unique and then you are ignoring the um, uh, current uh, current existing email already uh, used by the user okay okay so let's go ahead and check that out okay let's move on okay full name is required it's okay i think we have something here we just copied past head so we should do it something like edit data that should be good now here we go now we have the same email something went wrong Okay, I think we have our problem in the route, okay? So that's fine for now. Okay, and it passed, okay? Now, see, what is the ID of the user? The ID of this user is one. Now, if I just try to fake it with ID, let's say two, we will get the error. Okay, let's check it out. How do we get past? Return. Done. Let's see if it returns done. Okay, it is getting return done. Uh, okay, it's not ID. It's actually uh, unique users it should be email and then ID 
let's go ahead now unknown column to invert color uh, here select count as a get from user where email let's go The email has already been taken. Yes, it is taken. Okay, so we cannot take it. Now let's go ahead with ID 1. If ID 1 passes, then it's all fine now. Yep, fine. So you see, it's ignoring the email for ID 1. Okay, if you have the same email for the ID, same ID, then it will ignore the unique case. Okay. So that means it will ignore if it is unique, uh, if it is not unique for ID one, that's okay because you are the you are the owner of the email, so it will skip. But if you are trying to uh, do it for any other user, let's say user two, and this is user two is trying to have, uh, it's like user two trying to have email from user one, so it's unique, so you will get an error. So that means it's working all just fine. Okay, perfect. Now here let's talk about the password. Okay. Here the password can be. Uh, let's uh, see. We are giving uh, the password must be at least six characters. Yes. If you give the password, it should be. It's optional, and if you give, it should be six characters at least long. Okay. That's perfect. Now here we should replace it to user ID. Uh, let's replace it to request.id from the user. Okay, one uh, error now. Okay, perfect. Now here uh, we have password. We can cross check if we have a password or not. So if we have a password, here you see we are not passing any password right so you can check here you go we can say okay if if we have uh, request.password then we will do this one let's say we have a new data it's a little bit logic we need to do it can be done in many ways so if we have request.password then we will decrypt the password and then uh, let's uh, define this data here this is the data array okay now we are skipping the password right now here. Okay, that's perfect. Now, if we have a password, we'll just add the password here. Okay, otherwise we will not have any password update at all. That's perfect, right? And here, since it takes an, uh, an array, we will pass that array here, okay? Does it make sense? So we will say where uh, where I need equal. So where id equal request dot do okay where id equal request id and update data okay so we have defined the data and remove the optional data which is password is the optional one but in case if you give the password it will uh, decrypt the password then it will add into this array and then this array will have four items if you have the password and if you don't have the password it will have only three items so that is the logic here so it should work now 
with the same brush word. Let's check that out. Uh, what password we are editing? We are editing the first user and let's remember PLGE. And let's update the name. The password must be at least six characters long. So I think we're giving some, uh, yeah, we're giving something here. Uh, let's refresh it and select the sign. You see, it's all good now. That's one, that means one row has been updated and password is PLGE, same, and the name has been updated, okay? That's perfect. Now, let's try to uh, try out the same, uh, some cases here. So here I'm trying to edit uh, with uh, another email that already exists in the system, so we should get an error. And it should say the email all has already been taken, so we should not be able to use that email anyway. But we should be able to use our email, okay? So out in order to use our email, we have to add some extra things here, okay? Extra checks. It's like OIR condition. So yeah, so this is how you can make your edit. And now let's do um, the password editing, okay? Let's update the password, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go ahead. Yeah, so PLD should change now. See, the password has changed, so that's perfect. Everything is working perfectly, except the error message. So let's go ahead and update the error message. And yeah, we're getting an error here. That's okay for now, simply because it will not work this way. So what we should do is that <coughs> this dot users dot this dot index and I think we should update everything. We should just replace the data. That should be good now. And let's change it to select back. See we have replaced it. And let's change it another email. And it should be reflected now. See, everything is updated except the created ad, so that's okay. We have it. Okay, so we have this update um, edit done. Uh, in the next video, I will do the uh, deleting of the user and then, uh, yeah, deleting of these users I will do maybe later on after editing cat, um, blog because deleting should be done with some logic at the back end. So those logic will be uh, only available uh, when we have a blog or something uh, uh, with that items, okay? So let's go ahead. Uh, in the next video, I will show you the real deal, the SEL and the login register. Uh, we have done the registration system, okay, manually from the admin. And then in the next video, I will show you how to, the, how to do login and then uh, add the middleware so that uh, no one can actually access uh, the admin system or also no one can access these routes so it should be um, uh, protected okay so we will do these things in the next video thank you for watching guys have a nice